and go. Hey everybody and welcome back for another round of sort of semi-finals of the Tournament of Shame. <laughs> I'm Rockley Smile here again with Dan Giesling. What's going on? So What the hell happened here, Dan? What are we doing right now? So here's what happened. Ryan and Rob made it in. Bear was eliminated. So there was three of us, you, me, and Mathis fighting for the last two spots. Because Mathis 2 owed me, he essentially got the number three seed. There was a three-way tie, but Mathis had the tiebreaker. So now Nick and I are fighting for the fourth and Round final spot. Up. So whoever wins this gets into the last spot of the final seed, if that makes sense. Yeah, and we're just doing this as if it was another round, you know, the first to uh, win two. Yep. So uh, good luck, if Nick. You, if you imagine the, yeah, good luck. The, uh, the way the tie lockout worked was essentially we all made a triangle with the exact same stats. <laughs> it was kind of <laughs> absurd that it all worked out that way. The only difference was in the actual rounds, Mathis ended up with one different. So he just decided that's the only metric we can use and we'll just go with that. It's kind of like your, what is your logo called? Red Bull? <laughs> no, your, your branding. Oh, my Penrose triangle. What's it called, Penrose? Penrose. What's Penrose? It's the name of that type of triangle, because it's like a, it's an optical illusion. Is there... Probably named after the person who made it, uh, I imagine. Round okay. two. All right. Good, good win, Nick. Thank Did you. Do you have gold armor? Uh, no, no. It's just like, I think I'm lighting up because I have like a special shaft of light thing that I got from the Ubisoft <laughs> club. Shaft of light? Yeah, there's this like special emotion emoticon things you can get. All right. I don't really remember what it was called, but I had extra points because I played other Ubisoft games. It just gave me points to use. Did you play Ghost, uh, New Ghost Recon? Yeah, I played a little of it. Did you like it? It seemed a bit boring, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Yeah, well, that's fair. It just it? kind of seemed like they were going for the same thing as every other Ubisoft game, which is wander around a big open landscape and slowly work away at a lot of the same Round task three. over and over. But just in a co-op situation? Yeah, and co-op with unlockable guns, which is probably enough for a lot of people to like it by itself. You're not mind flooding me again, by the way. No, I'm not no, no, talking no. this whole <laughs> No. <laughs> Who invented mind flooding, by the way? You're trying to do it right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> you did. <laughs> no, but it became like something from the NLSS chat. I'm like, I've yeah. never even heard of Mindfoot. I thought it was a Magic the Gathering card. Yeah, it's that too, I think. <laughs> ah! Nice, nice slappies. Nice slappies. Oh, no. Freaking the Red Bull Warrior. Somebody's got to represent House Red Bull. Nick, what's your adult beverage of choice? Round four. Hmm. I mean, my standard is probably to just go with uh, just a Blue Moon, just like a regular old beer. Um, if not that, like a rum and coke or like a White Russian. I like those a lot. White Russian? That's yeah. sophisticated. I like that. When you go Blue Moon, do you go orange or no orange? Oh, definitely orange if it's on, you know, available. Some places don't have the orange, which is kind of inconceivable. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, like I've the had whole a number thing. of times. Won't give you the orange. White Russian is that milk and Kahlua or something? What is it? It's uh, it's heavy cream, uh, vodka and uh, coffee liqueur. Ooh. I feel like that's if you're feeling some kind of way. What's that mean? <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's a rap song. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> That's not how you use that move. Don't worry. Finish him. Oh, nice parry. Nick, you keep parrying me. Oh. oh. Was that, that was the third intense. one? That was, yeah, that was match point for that game. So now we're 1-0. and I don't like that. But that was a good one. You parried me you like did. three times in a row. 
we had a, a one and no situation last time, and then I, I think I came back with a point, and then, you know, anything can happen. Anything can happen, Nick. A literally anything. An asteroid could land on Earth right now, and we'll never finish the game. It could. I hope it doesn't. I mean, that would be pretty lame. Nick, I, I guess in the scheme of things, like, nobody would really care because we wouldn't be here to care after that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Nihilist asteroid talk, you know. That just, I say we were going down the street and you took a hard left and then a hard right. And <laughs> really? We're somewhere in the middle of the ocean near the, where the crust meets and the lava bubbles up and makes new crust. Did you know in the depths of the ocean there are creatures that oh, can actually what? live in thermal vents? Like they have like, to? Like where the the water comes out of the, the magma under the ground and is like superheated, there's actually creatures that live in that. It's like the bubbly, right? It's bubbly, but it's freaking hot. <laughs> I think, and isn't it true there's like lots of creatures that we've never even discovered in the ocean? Oh yeah. That's the pressure is so crazy down there, it's like an alien landscape. That's kind of the freaky part to me. Like, there could be some crazy stuff down there. Like, Guaranteed. Say, yeah. I know there's crazy stuff down there. We've seen fluorescent fish that have rainbows shooting through them. Really? Yeah. I like your, your pinned Twitter post. I don't know if it's still pinned, but about nature. Oh, the nature one. Yeah, yeah I don't have that pinned anymore, you but took, I like that too. You took it down? Yeah. Would you take it down in, in lieu of? I remember. <laughs> Actually, I, I think I was just like, okay, I've had this up for like a year. I'm just gonna like switch it out now. But it was so good. It had like the golden beetle. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe those things are actually real. And then there was the crystal like rock, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's actually artificial, believe it or not. Like that, um, well, maybe not believe it or not, because it looks freaking bizarre. But uh, it's called bismuth, and it's created uh, by humans, and it just happens to look bizarre. What do you mean? It's uh, I just think it's such humans. a cool thing. It's just uh, it's like part of a chemical process. Uh, you can make bismuth. Hard me up like a Christmas turkey there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come I am the, the tablecloth knight. There's something about a a pizza place that uses these kind of tablecloths that I think make them infinitely better. Oh, they're the classic, like traditional pizza places that have that tablecloth. Yeah, like the kind of place you call a parlor, you know? Like a pizza parlor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of parlors anymore, like, for anything. That word just isn't really used. Ice cream parlor? Yeah. I can't even say that I know where there is an ice cream parlor around me anywhere. <laughs> Which is actually really depressing now that I think about it, because it's a pretty good place to want to know where it, where it is. I generally enjoy the time period we live in, but one of the things I wish I could have experienced, and I think you may appreciate it too, is a soda jerk. Oh, yeah. No, I'm a big fan of the soda jerk. You know, like you sit down at the bar and then they slide you an they exotic... They give you egg creams is the thing. I love egg creams. What the heck is egg cream? It's a type of soda. It's like a carbonated uh, milkshake, kind of. It's like an old school drink that used to be very popular in the 50s and went away forever. I mean, you can still get them, but they're very rare. And usually they're not that great. Is it like an actual egg? No, it's just called that. Finish him! Nick, I feel your best when your back's against the wall. I don't know, maybe. Get back! No, oh, you Matrix! All I right. do Matrix, but it wasn't good enough! <laughs> you just swept that whole set. Uh, Alright, Nick's coming down to the last game. It's a freaking tie within a tie within a tie now. <laughs> That's a Primrose Everdeem <laughs> triangle. Did you watch any of the Hunger Games? Yeah, I did. I've seen them all. Did you enjoy them? Uh, yeah, uh, believe it or not, and uh, this is apparently a, a like somewhat sacrilegious thing to say, but I, I thought the end of the series was more interesting than the beginning. I never got that far. Mm. Is it worth? It's worth watching though. I thought it was. 
I watched the first I two and liked like, them. Like high art or anything. I don't think they're fantastic movies, and I, I'm not a huge fan of the like teenagers hunting each other down part. <laughs> just in the cultural relevance of that, but uh, in murder. general, I thought there was there was some interesting ideas about war expressed in that story. You said it. What, how do you describe it? Not high art. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's exactly like the top of the mountain when it comes to acting and you know cinematography and. It's got some nice costume work. I don't disagree. Some CG work that's pretty good, but uh, overall, it's like a sort of a B tier movie for me. What would you consider A tier or S tier? Uh, something like Spirited Away. I never saw that. What's that about? It's about a little girl going into a fantasy world, and you're trying to mind flood me again. I'm not. Word. I'm. I'm. It sounds like a horse movie. <laughs> <laughs> now that you say it, kind of does. Uh, no, it's about a little girl that goes into a fantasy world where her parents get lost, and she meets a bunch of people who put her to work in a uh, a bath place, like a spa kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And she starts like working there and meets a bunch of like ancient Japanese ghost demons. Round two. Uh, and eventually, kind of finds her way back to like her normal life. It's it's not a thing that makes a lot of sense to say out loud. You kind of have to just see it. Is it animated? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it on Netflix? I don't think so, no. Oh. It's it's one of the Studio Ghibli films. Definitely worth watching if you can find it. Is Was that a dumb question? No, no. I feel like you're here talking about like a high-value film. I'm like, is it on Netflix? No, if you don't, if you don't know what it is, it's fine. Is it on Crunchyroll? I don't think so. I honestly don't know where you... You might just have to buy a Blu-ray of it. Oh my god, you're going so aggressive. So that was the right call. Alright, I better actually fight now. Were you sandbagging me, Nick? No, I'm just saying I better actually pay really oh. close attention, because... Start talking about more Studio <laughs> Ghibli movies. Wait, when you, say, when you say bathhouse, like a bad bathhouse, or like a... Above no, board. no, a fine, reputable above okay. board. Demons just want to come and take a bath, that's all. I got it. How did you hear about said movie? Uh, I don't know. I found out about it years and years ago. I don't really remember anymore. You just kind of go in circles of anime and stuff, and you just kind of find stuff. I'll give you a circle of anime. It's, so if someone's never watched anime, where would you tell them to start? Depends what kind of stories you're into. Like, do you want something that's kind of more action-based, or do you want something that's a bit more emotional or artistically beautiful? Or This is pretty much every type of story. I'm like a substance guy, so I'd, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say I wouldn't, but I wouldn't prefer Transformers. I'd prefer Goodwill Hunting to Transformers. Okay, so you want something with a little bit of like psychological bite to it? Yeah, like when Maybe you watch Full Metal it, Alchemist, wouldn't be too bad then. What's it called? Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. It's a story about the dangers of like essentially playing with fire when it comes to the magical alchemy in this world, uh, where these these kids get really good at being able to transmute materials into other materials, and it kind of all goes wrong, and then they go on this like journey to redeem themselves. Kind of like Gremlins? No, it's got a little bit more in the way of moral implications than Gremlins. How did that not hit you? What do you think the moral implications of Gremlins was? Don't mess with animals? Uh... No. <laughs> I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> I guess, like, don't buy weird ancient objects from people you wouldn't trust. And then also, like, don't follow the instructions afterward. Nick, I can't take a game five. No! No! There's gonna be a game five. Nick, I can't take it. <laughs> I can't. Did I just get you by playing Ring Around the Rosie, by the way? I think so, and I was thinking about Gremlins. <laughs> and if Corey Haim or Corey Feldman is in Gremlins or neither. 
All right, I Nick. All right, good, good luck. luck. They're getting their money's worth. Yeah. My shield. <sighs> Nick. What's up? What? Sorry, dude. I poisoned you. Did you wait? Did you not know that was a thing? I just gave you one star. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I won by the dirtiest method no, that I think is available. The, that was that was well fought though. We stayed really close the whole way. And also it was a reversal because you beat me last time. Whatever, Nick. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, that's good. Man. No, how did you when you do the uh matrix kick, is that poison? The no, you'll one. see the the spear will light up like purple. It's actually, I think it's bleed, but you know, it looks like poison. Uh, and then you just you get this little like red or black line on your health bar, which is how far down it'll take it if you're not, you know, recovering. I guess. So you just let me go off to pasture and be like, yeah. Go well, I mean, it's you. either I let you bleed out or I risk going in and then getting hit and losing. <laughs> so. <laughs> I took the safe play, although it is less honorable. I agree with that. No, that, that's not called have honor. It's for honor. For honor. But, but you I, do things to get the honor. I didn't get the honor. I will say this. In in the comments... Uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Dan. <laughs> oh, man. Nick, you got... Oh, this is what right. I say. In the comments... I'm going to go on Nick's channel. No, I'm not going to do that. Just tell me if you think Nick reverse mind flooded me in that last game. Talk. Yeah, I guess I'd be interested in hearing that as well. Yeah, Nick, good game. I hope you good game win the whole thing. You deserve it. Uh, I'm not gonna, but thank you. <laughs> All I right. appreciate it. See you, Nick. <laughs> good match. We'll see you on the next. Uh, see you on the next round. Uh, right. Everybody is following from my perspective, and go follow and subscribe to Dan, who will have the links for in the description. And I won't see you in the next round. Well, thank yeah, I meant viewers, but. Sorry. Thanks, thanks to Nick. No, good game, Nick. And everyone <laughs> enjoy game, the rest game. of the tournament. Later, guys. Later.